Hello from Esper. Today we're going to show you how to enroll and provision a device onto the Esper platform, starting with showing you the available provisioning methods, and then diving into the provisioning template that defines the configuration set by what we call the compliance policy, any apps you want to load or allow, and the settings for devices that you enroll and onboard onto Esper. And a great place to start is to look at the devices view. Here you get a feel for the diversity of Android devices that you can manage with Esper. AOSP to GMS, Android 4.4 to Android 10, where they're powered by MediaTek chipsets, a close partner of Esper's, as well as Qualcomm, Rockchip, and Allwinner. We cover it all. That's where the provisioning methods come into play. This is the means that you use to enroll your devices onto Esper. We support Android enterprises you would expect, and so that means Android for Work, available on Android 6.0 and above GMS devices, as well as the efficient six-tap QR code method for Android 7.0 and above. We also have what we call the Provisioner tool, and this is an executable that you install on Mac or Windows that lets you provision AOSP devices, GMS devices without a camera, or ordinary GMS devices that you can't provision using any other method. The provisioning tool will get it done and it will provision up to 16 devices at once to give you efficiency. We also offer seamless no touch provisioning that works with Esper Enhanced Android. It's literally turn it on, no touch, and your device gets provisioned. We also support Samsung Knox, Google Zero Touch Enrollment, and NFC is also available. Let's move over to our provisioning wizard. This makes it very easy for you to determine what the best provisioning method is for a given device. So you just answer a simple set of questions and at the end it tells you the method to use. In this case, it's six tap QR code. So now that we've learned about the provisioning methods, what are the means to define how you enroll and provision the device? That's where provisioning templates come in. With the provisioning template, once you create a template, you can reuse it so that way for the different configurations or the different devices or customers that you provision for, you have specific templates set up for these use cases. You can see that we have a nice set of templates available for us already. We make it very easy for you to edit them. You can even duplicate them and use them again. But in this case, what we're going to do is to find a new template. So I'll go over and click on the Create Template button, and we'll start the process. Let's say we just got a big order in for one customer and we wanted to find a template just for their enrollment. And so we'll name this template such, Big Customer Order. The next thing that we come to is what we call the Compliance Policy section. And these are the configurations that are unavailable to the user. You set them from the Esper platform and the user has no access to them. So here you can do things like determine your default app permissions from Google Play, system updates, whether you want the Android system settings app to be included, uh, restricting Google accounts, having a code required for hard key factory reset, lock screen, notification bar, telephony, NFC. You'll see nice tool tips pop up along the way that tell you what each button does. Um, controlling outgoing calls, turning off Google Play Store if you wish, factory reset, they're all available for you in a fine-grained fashion. You can also restrict inbound and outgoing calls uh, to the device. And you have a global switch for ADB as some customers want to just turn ADB off uh, on the devices. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting this up for kiosk mode. And typically in kiosk mode, uh, you want most everything off because you just want the app to be in kiosk mode and inaccessible to the user all those settings and so I'm going through and doing that right now and once we get done with that we'll now move to the app section so here is where you can switch between having it be in kiosk mode or multi-app and in this case we're going to do kiosk mode uh, you can include packages in ROM through this enter as many as you want since this is going to be a web app we're going to include Google Chrome because it's used underneath the hood just for fun, I'll show you Google Manage Play. So this endpoint is enrolled in a Google Manage Play account. And with that, you can select any of the approved Google Play apps that we've set up on the endpoint. 
and include them in your provisioning template. So we make it very easy to access Google Play through the provisioning template. For this template, we're going to include Slack because these days, who doesn't need access to Slack 24 by 7? Now we're going to do the Esper Cloud. And so this is a private cloud that is specific to your endpoint where you can upload your own APKs and make them available for the provisioning template as well as pushing out to your devices after you provision. We're going to do the Esper Sample Kiosk app. And since it's kiosk mode, we're going to set it up to be uh, on boot. We also included device ID in there. Here you can upload wallpaper, but uh, it doesn't matter for kiosk mode, so we'll skip that. These are settings, and so these can be user accessible. In kiosk mode, they're not going to be, but this is where you can do Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, uh, brightness, volume, set up the uh, screen in terms of portrait or landscape, and screen timeout as well. Here is where you can turn on an ADB session duration and limit it if you have ADB turned on earlier, which we did. And we also let you include Wi-Fi access points that you want the credentials to be included on the device to make it very easy for customers to turn them on at the location and have them ready to go. And we also let you include Wi-Fi credentials for provisioning as well that's available for the QR code method. On the next screen, this is where groups come in. Groups let you organize your devices in the construct that fits your operational workflow. In this case, we're going to create a new group called Inventory. That's where we're going to put these provisioned devices once they're enrolled. And finally, you get a summary screen that shows you the cho choices you've made in your provisioning template to confirm before saving the template. Now it's very simple to provision the actual device. If you're going to do AFW or the QR code method, you simply click here and bring up the QR code that you're going to go with. If you're using the provisioning tool, you log into your endpoint on the tool and you can access all the templates that you've created to provision your devices. That wraps up the demo. Through this, you've learned about the provisioning methods available in Esper, as well as how to set up and use the provisioning template. Thank you very much, and we hope you enjoyed the video.